So, this is going to be on heart failure. So, heart failure, we are going to give you some update on up to date information about heart failure. We are going to conduct as a workshop. And first, we give you the introduction about heart failure. Then, we look at the most difficult heart failure, which is heart failure with a preserved ejection infraction, followed by an interactive session based on this lecture. Then, we give you the understanding and treatment of heart failure with a reduced ejection fraction, HF or EF. Then, we give interaction uh, for this lecture. Then, we give you some takeaways and messages. So, why we call this uh, the group of lectures as update and up to date? Update is to make something more modern or suitable for use now by adding a new information. So, update means in with your existing knowledge of heart failure, we are trying to add some more new information. Whereas, up to date is modern, recent and containing the latest information. So, up to date, we are going to give you some completely new information. You may or may not know, but it's completely what is new inform new about heart failure in two aspects of heart failure, heart failure with ejection fraction and heart failure with reduced ejection fraction. This is first the introduction. So, introduction, I must say there are good news and bad news about heart failure. The good news is we have decrease in mortality in heart failure, very great news. Today, we are able to reduce the mortality in heart failure and because it is because of advances in therapy as well as it is because of evidence based practice we are doing. The bad news is it is increase in incidence. The heart failure is increasing in incidence. Ironically, it is once again because of advances in therapy. You may wonder why advances in therapy is decreasing the mortality and increasing in distance because of increase in elderly population. The advances in therapy make the patient live longer and longer the patient lives, he has got tendency to develop heart failure. So, the price we pay for making the patient living longer is heart failure. So, that is why it is very important to understand we have decrease in mortality and heart failure, but however, we have increased incidence of heart failure. So, basically heart failure is... is